Welcome to the week two edition of the Fordham Football Ram Roundup. I'm Andrew Golotti here with Fordham head coach Joe Conlon. Coach, a 48-31 win over Wagner last week. It was Fordham's first season opening win since 2015. What were your main takeaways from that game? Uh, you know, I thought we turned the ball over too much, but I thought we did a much better job defensively playing with our hands and, uh, you know, putting pressure on their quarterback. Two interceptions, so, you know, a lot of good, a lot of bad. Great, uh, great film to learn from. In the first game with a new defensive coordinator in the first half really started a bit shaky, but in the second half really seemed like things started to click. Uh, on your end at halftime, what were the things that really improved, you think, half to half? Yeah, I mean, and schematically they were fine in the first half, so, you know, I don't think Mark was doing anything wrong. We just found better answers from um, and, uh, you know, we suffocated the ground game. And Coach, moving ahead to Monmouth, their team that defeated you last season here at Rose Hill, what challenges do they impose on you, and how have they changed year to year? Sure. Um, you know, I mean, you know, Coach Callahan's been there for a long time, uh, and, and they've had a lot of continuity at offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. So, uh, you know, they're, they're not gonna be a, there's not going to be a lot of wholesale changes from year to year, but there, there are a few tweaks and, and uh Little differences from from last year to this. Uh, I think you know they're very big up front. They have a very good quarterback. Who took him to the playoffs as a freshman. Kid can make a lot of throws. He's a tough kid. Um, you know, really plays hard. Good running backs. Good receiving core. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, they're really long in the secondary. They play downhill in their front seven. You know, it takes a lot of pride in stopping the run. So they don't, they don't have a lot of weaknesses. Um, they just play good team football. They're sound uh, offense, defense, special team. So it's going to be a really good test. Thanks, coach. Sure thing. We continue the week two edition of the Fordham Football Ram Roundup with wide receiver Fotis Coco Sulis. Fotis, another week, another touchdown for you. That makes 11 out of 12 weeks with a touchdown. What are your keys in this torrid stretch of getting into the end zone? I mean, I really just got to do my job, um, read the defense, uh, obviously see the play call, and uh, make uh, run good routes, and then Tim's going to put that ball on me, so i got to make the catch for sure. Speaking of Tim, he's one touchdown shy of the Fordham School record for passing touchdowns. You've caught 22 of them. He has 72 overall. What makes your connection with him specifically so lethal? I mean, he, he's a great guy. I'm proud of him for that uh, accomplishment. And, um, you know, he's just, I don't know, we're good friends, and he's uh, we're always working together. And, um, you know, whenever I'm running routes of practice or whatever, you know, he's going to tell me what I did wrong, tell me what I need to do better, and um, we're just going to connect on that way for sure. What makes him a special QB, you think, in your mind? I mean, he's just ability to read the defense pre-snap and post-snap, and um, obviously he's got a great arm, so he's going to make all the throws. So I love watching him play. Last question, just talking about your receiving core, extremely deep riddled with all Patriot League talent. What makes you guys so special and obviously a lot of targets to go around, so what makes all of you so unselfish when you're on the field? Um, I think we all have a lot of experience and um, we're all always competing against each other, so it's always a fun little, oh, I gotta get back at him, I gotta get the next play, you know what I mean? So it's a fun way to make ourselves better and uh, as you see, we have so much depth, so teams, you know, they try to stop one of us, but they can't stop us all. Thanks, Fotis. Good luck.